Hello students, this is my fourth lecture of Applied Mathematics. Today we will discuss, till now we have discussed subset. Now today we will discuss proper subset, power sets and interval as subset of real number. So let us discuss proper subsets. I in the name says, proper subset is what? A set A is called proper subset of B. It, it, it follows the following two conditions. First, element of set A must be in elements of set B. And secondly, there is at least one element in B which is not in A. What do it mean? Suppose this is A is 1, 2, 3 and this is B is 1, 2, 3, 4. So here we see that all elements of A is, lies in B. All elements of A lies in B. But there is one more element in B that is 4 which is not in A. So we will say that A is proper subset of B. A is proper subset of B. Here one thing you have to note that A is subset of B. Suppose this sign is given. What do it signify this sign? That A is subset of B where A, B may be equal to B. A may be equal to B and symbol A is proper subset of B suggests that a is subset of B and A is not equal to B. So A is proper subset of, subset of B means what? A should be subset of B and A should be not be equal to B. So if a set has n elements, so number of proper sets, number of subsets is what? 2n. So number of proper sets children is 2n minus 1. Why 2n minus 1? Because every set is subset of itself. Suppose this set A is given. Suppose we are finding its subset. It, it is what? 5, set 1, signature 1, signature 2, signature 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3 and 1, 2, 3 that is the set itself. So signature 1 is subset of A, signature 2 subset of A, signature 3 is subset of A but only one set that is the set itself set itself is not proper subset of it the rest are proper subset of it rest are suppose you are taking 5 1 2 individually 3 individually 1 2 individually 1 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 1 comma 3 this all are proper subsets of a because all elements of there lies in set a but set it's if you are taking last subset that is set itself 1 comma 2 comma 3 it is subset of a not proper subset of a similarly in this also so here a sub a is subset of b this sign is given means a is subset of b when a may be equal to b and if this symbol is given such that a is subset of b but a is not equal to b so our inference is, our conclusion is, every proper subset is subset, but every subset is not proper set. Again, I am repeating, every proper subset is subset, but every subset is not a proper set. Now, power set. What is the meaning of power set? Power set, the set of all subsets of a given set. That means all the elements in the power sets will be in the form of set. Set of all subsets of a given set A is called proper subset of A defined as power set of A. Suppose set A is x, y, z. So what is its power set? So first of all, what is its subset? Phi, x, y individually, z individually, x, y, y, z, x, z and set itself x, y, z. That means number of subsets is 8. So for the power set, this all set, set will act as a element. This all set will act as a element. So we enclose within the braces, all these subsets are enclosed within the braces. So it becomes the power set of A. That is power set of A. That is A x y z. X y comma z. So this is the meaning of power set. So power set of A elements of power set of A 
is the set. Is the set. Now, if number of elements of A is equal to n, number of elements in power set of n is equal to 2n. Why 2n? Because number of sets of uh, sets having n elements is 2n. So powers, powers, number of elements in power set of A is also 2n. Suppose write power set of A, phi, A comma, and B is in the curly bracket. Listen here, one thing, one thing you make it a point. Whatever are line between this curly bracket are element of the set. So how many elements are this set? One is phi, one is A, and one is B under the curly bracket. This is also act as an element. So suppose you have to write power sheet of A, phi. Now this phi, individually we will take its set A. Now this B, suppose B you take as M or whatever this will be. We will take individual M. So this will like this. Phi A. Now phi M. Suppose this is phi M. Now A comma B, A M. Now set itself phi comma A comma B. So in this way we write. So if curly bracket uh, is uh, given, suppose element is in the curly bracket under the braces, you assume it as M, N, P, whatever it is, so that there should not be so much confusion in writing it. How many elements does P A have if A is equal to 5? If A is equal to 5, it has only one subset that is 5 under the curly bracket. So P A has only one element. So children, power set of an element is never empty. It is always non-empty. So if A is equal to 5, it has only one subset which is 5. Now let us discuss. Let us discuss the given example for, for clarity of concept. Suppose let A is equal to 1, comma 2, 2, comma. This is set given as 3, comma 4 under the braces and 5. So this set has how many elements? 1, individual 1, 2, 3, comma 4 under the braces and 5. So let us do some questions for clearing up our concept. Now first is 3, comma 4 is subset of A. Is it true or false? 3, comma 4 under the braces is acting as an element of A. So it cannot be subset of A. It belongs to A. It is subset. It is. It belongs to A. It is an element of A. So this is our false statement number one. Whatever is in whatever elements are included within the braces, all are acting as an element. This set A has how many elements? One, two, three, comma four under the braces and five. Second is three comma four belongs to A. It is true because three comma four under the braces. It is an element of A. This is an element of A. So we can say that 3, 4 under the braces belongs to A. Now 3, 4, 3, 4 braces again braces is subset of A. Yes, this is true. This is true because now this is element. This is acting as the element. And being put it with the braces, now it becomes set. So this is subset of A. This is subset of A. So this is true. Now, one belongs to A. This is true because one is, one is an element. One is an element of A. This is true. This is true, children. Now, one is subset of A. No. One is not subset of A. One belongs to A. Had one be like this, had one be like this, then it would have been, it would have been subset of A. Now, so it's in false. Now, one to five belongs to A. One, Two, five. One comma, two comma, five. Are belongs to A. Is it true or false? It is false because it is not acting in this form, built in built form. It is acting individually. One is acting. One is two is five. It is not in this form. Had it been in this form, then only we say that it it belongs to A. Suppose it is like this, one element you are adding, 1, 2, 5. Then only we can say that it belongs to A. So this is false. This is false. 
now 1 comma 2 comma 5 subset of a 1 comma here yeah, it is subset of a because here how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 if you are finding its subsets number of subsets subsets will be 2 raised to power 4 that is 16 so when we will take this out of 4 when we will make the combination of 3 one subset will come 1 comma 2 comma 5 so it is subset of a it is subset of a now phi is subset of a phi is subset of a yes phi is subset of every element for every set phi is subset of every set so it is correct phi is subset of a now phi belongs to a no it is false phi do not belongs to a phi is the subset of a now children this is all about the power set now let us have a brief outline of interval as subset of real number so if we are taking any real number just like you imagine that a line segment is part of the line that's in the same manner interval is subset of real number that is if you are taking two points two 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 numbers on the number line the certainly it is a subset of the entire entire real number line so just like i have told you just like line segment is part of the line that means we bound the two two sides so first is so i i am uh, defining each and every type in equity notation interval notation and graph to notation so try to understand it this is a real number lines a and b are two points and a smaller a smaller one on the real number line is always taken left is always taken left now first is closed interval as the name suggests closed interval closed interval means suppose what i mean a set of all x such that x lies between a and b equal to a lie including a and b including a and b so its interval notation is a comma b and under, under the large bracket large bracket means inclusive and when parenthesis is there that means exclusive so how we represent it on the number line they said here number nine negative infinity positive infinity a is one one number b is one point okay now what you do since both a and b are inclusive you make it dark and this is the graph representation of a comma b under the large bracket that means set of all real number x lies between a and b including a including b now open interval here x lies between a and b here x lies between a and b exclusive of a exclusive of b because parenthesis means exclusive exclusion so a comma b under the parenthesis sign so here we have taken again a or b two points and make the hollow circuit over a hollow circuit over b hollow circuit means hollow circuit means a and b are excluded that means what we will read it set of all x lie between a and b excluding a excluding b now next is this is x lie between a and b in excluding a including b that is called open closed interval that is called open closed interval so this will be as parent a comma b here before a parenthesis after b large bracket so again this is a real number nine this is real number nine children so here a b are two points where a is left of b a is smaller than b it is quite obvious it is quite obvious so that means what set of all real number x lie between a and b excluding a including b excluding a including b similarly this is close close open interval that is x lies between a and b including a excluding b so here this is real number nine the, and this signify here dark circuit will over a and hollow circuit will over b dark circuit means included hollow circuit means excluded so here set of all all x real x set of all real x lying between a and b including a excluding b including a excluding b now these are called this one two three four are called children bounded interval 
because two points are binding them A and B. This is called bounded interval. Now unbounded interval. Unbounded interval means one side is unbounded. One side can be bounded, one side can be unbounded. One side is unbounded. So x is smaller than A. That means x belongs to negative infinity A. Both are under the parenthesis. And in the real number line, this is A is here. That means set up all A, all x, real x lie between negative infinity and A, excluding A. Now, always we give sign of parenthesis in infinity because it is a fictitious notation. Now, x is smaller than equal to A. This is x belongs to negative infinity and A in the large bracket. This is its graphical representation essential then. Negative infinity and A. So, x will assume all real values between negative infinity and A. A may be 2, 5, 5, whatever it is, including A. Now, x greater than A. That means, here, x greater than A. This is your real number line. Negative infinity, positive infinity. And this is A. That means, A, A, x lies x lie here. That means, it is set of all real x lies between A and positive infinity, this side is unbounded and this is in excluding A. Now, x is equal to A. Suppose when uh, x is equal to A, x is equal to B. Like we solve a quadratic equation problem in class 10, that means if 2 specific or 3 specific result is given or 4 specific result is given, that means we write x belongs to 1, 2 in the form or in the, under the curly bracket, only one will will be dark circle and only two will be. That means x is taking only one value one or two. This value x is not taking. And x belongs to real number. That means entire real number line. That is x can be from negative infinity between negative infinity and positive infinity. X can be here. That is set of all real x. The real number line is represented as negative infinity, positive infinity under the parenthesis. This is regarding the concept of interval notation. So children, Today, we have discussed proper subset, power sets, and sets, and interval as subset of real number. So, this is all about. Thank you.